Praise the Almighty God, my good friend, wherever you are. Let us believe and pray. Therefore, I want to share the word of God shortly with you. Father, thank you for this moment. I'm going to share the word of God. Use me as a vessel towards their life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. My good friend, let us open our Bible in the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter number 4 verse 2. The Bible says, preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season. Correct rebuke and encourage with great patient and careful instruction. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to speak to someone outside there. Either you are a leader, you are a, you are a pastor, you are an evangelist, you are, it doesn't matter, but you are a leader. You preach the, the word of God. You say the truth wherever you are. Stand firm. Preach the gospel and preach the reality. Many people come out and they don't want to speak the reality. They want to sweet talk the truth. They want, they don't want to measure, to to pinpoint where the problem is. People want to sugarcoat. And let me tell you, that is not leadership. That is destroying. And you are destroying. It is better you be hated, but you say the truth. It is better you stand with the reality of God and see heaven. Praise the name of Jesus. I speak to someone wherever you are. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter. You are a bishop, you are a pastor, you are a prophet, or you are an evangelist. Let me tell you today, it is good to say the truth. And in church, Try your best not to allow politics in your pulpit. Respect that pulpit. Respect that 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 calling God gave you. God 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 gave you a calling not of politics. God gave you a calling of winning soul to the kingdom. Are you winning soul to the kingdom or are you destroying the kingdom with with other things which doesn't add up to the kingdom of God? Let me tell you, world is full of evil, but you are full of God. When you are full of God, express the godliness, show the godliness to your people and God will bless you. Let me tell you, it is high time as a country we wake up and do the reality in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the word I've spoken to your people. Lord, may you use them to spread the word. May you use them to tap and also uh, reach out in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and believe. And now I want to say this. If you are there and not born again, I want to repeat this word after me. Repeat this word and God will forgive you. Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. I've done wrong. Lord, today forgive me. Write my name in the book of life and renew me today. Lord, thank you for removing my name in the book of darkness and transfer my name and transferring my name to the book of kingdom. Thank you, Jehovah, for your salvation in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Now, let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for that person who have prayed and repeated the prayer. Lord, sustain them. Talk to them, Lord, through the signs, Almighty Father, Lord. I stand with them today, Almighty Father. Those one who have renewed themselves, those one who are now, Almighty Father, walking as a new creature to the kingdom. Father, let your blood cover them. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Let me tell you, my good friend, don't forget 2 Timothy chapter number 4 verses 2, whereby it says, correct in a good manner. Praise the name of Jesus. Don't fear to correct. Preach the true word and God will bless you wherever you are. Shalom, shalom, peace of God be upon you. In Jesus' mighty name I say, amen, amen.